guys. 2022 was a heck of a year for me in the field. 23 is coming on hot. But before that, we got to look back and look at some of my most memorable moments from 22 in the field. Obviously, one of my favorite hunts from 22 was finally being able to get down to Argentina. And I say finally because Argentina had been shut down for the two previous years because of COVID. Now, finally getting in there meant two things. The number of animals is going to be off the charts and the trophy potential is going to be phenomenal. Well, first morning here in Argentina, say I'm excited is a giant understatement. Well, we just got to the area that we're gonna hunt. There's a series of water holes and it's kind of rolling hills. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to scoot along the sides of these ridges and just keep glass and look at the water holes. This is a unique situation because the area hasn't been hunted in two years because of COVID. So it's ideal. There are a ton of animals in here. They're two years older than they normally would be. And the big one is they're not gonna be very spooky, which is gonna allow us just to kind of get the wind in our face, cruise these hills and just glass this whole area. The grass is extremely tall so we should be concealed as we move along it's yeah it's ideal hunting conditions really mark these are the three stacks we saw before okay remember the heavy one yeah 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 and the other one is the one to our left the heavy one looks pretty good yeah yeah that one is a little bit wider on it's an old card. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Let's go. seen a bunch of red stags. We came across this group. It was obviously that they were older, bigger bodied, carried the mass all the way out, saggy stomachs. And the way, I'm not sure exactly what he's got up top, but just an old red stag, exactly what you're looking for in a free range area like this. Wow. Holy smokes. Oh, guy. <laughs> you definitely carried the mass. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you. Wow. Beautiful. Look at the palms. Yeah. So how old would one like this be? Uh, nine years at least. Wow. Nine, ten years at least. Justin, you on him? Awesome. Congratulations, it's man. It's a huge buffalo. Huge buffalo. Wow. Got mass everywhere, carries it right up. Mark, mm -hmm. after the bush, these bushes, we have a huge uh, field mm -hmm. where blackbacks are almost all day long there. Okay. We used to see 
a couple of really big ones. If you want, we can try to go and check that field. Yeah. So just walk up this edge and then glass around the corner? Yeah, we're going to try that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go. 80 yards more and it's a field, okay? Take your time and we're going to try to see if it's a black box after there or not. giant black buck right there. There were two of them that were really big, but man, this one has mass that comes all the way up. I can't wait to go see them. So the only other spot I've hunted black buck was in Hawaii, and this one just dwarfs that one. Just so much bigger. The other one's probably about right here, which was great for Molokai where we were hunting, but just better genetics here. sneaking around that group of does, hit this two track and right on the other side, following up behind that group, a giant pure David buck. First one I've ever seen with my own eyes and it looks awesome. Like I can't wait to get down there and see it. Very big, holy smokes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at how amazing that is. Pure David deer in Argentina, the first time in eight years that they've been hunted in this region right here. And I'm blown away. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I've only seen pictures of them before and it happened so quick. Twenty twenty two was a banner year for me, but just wait because we've got some amazing things planned for twenty three.